Hey everyone, it's Mike from Get Fit Over 40 with another EUC video. It seems like a lot of you guys are interested in it. I'm getting probably more comments from people that ride these things and are, I guess they're finding my videos somehow through, I don't know, search criteria or whatever, but not even that I'm making that many EUC videos, but what, they're coming here and they're making comments and it's kind of interesting to see what they have to say. There was like a guy who was like 75 years old who's riding in the UC, takes his dog with him. He carries his five pound dog every time he rides. Pretty interesting stuff. So hopefully more of you uh, EUC riders get in on these videos and comment and share and everything. So I got my King Song uh, S22. This is the original version. And I'm going to be upgrading the sliders. So these are the upgraded sliders here. Um, they're sliders with bearings on them, and I'll show you what the old ones look like when I get into the wheel, but the old ones are just basically plastic on metal, and um, they have quite a bit of friction, so especially when you're hitting smaller little bumps, they don't seem to work as well, but uh, this guy works really well on the big bumps either way, but on the smaller bumps, it just isn't as responsive. So I've got everything laid out. I'm using my Black & Decker workbench. It works really well to hold these wheels in, and then I've got my stuff ready to go, all my tools. Allen keys, little adapters, electric drill to speed things up. Um, we've got the rollers. These rollers are really cool because they come with a clip, so you don't have to beat the heck out of them to get them on there. You just pop them on and then put the clip on and you're good to go. All the extra bearings and stuff, stuff that I'm probably going to need uh, just in case I've got some thermal paste in case mine is all dried up because if it's dried up, it doesn't work very good, so I'll replace it while I've got the uh, control unit off. I've got some silicone just in case where the battery, or sorry, where the motor cable goes into the control unit. Sometimes there's a little bit of an opening there, and people have been saying that's the only real major concern for water um, ingress, I guess you'd call it, getting into the controller. So you silicone that off just in case it's not done. And then I have some, um, basically some Loctite, blue Loctite, for some of the, some of the um, screws that you'll need to Loctite just to make sure they don't go anywhere. And that's pretty much it. So I'll get this for putting down, like, because it's going to be two pieces once I'm done. Um, part of it will be on here while I work on it. The rest will be on here. And I will take pictures. I'm not going to really do video of everything because it's too hard to video and work at the same time. So I'll take pictures along the way. The first thing that's going to happen is this comes off. And you can see, everybody complains about this. You can see how the uh, Velcro doesn't really stay on very good. It's, it stayed on in the one place that I need to actually unscrew. Um, so I'm going to probably put that on here properly. Um, maybe use some, I'm thinking I'm just going to use some sort of super glue or something because everyone's having issues with that. So we'll see if I can get that to stick better. But this comes off. Now this control, this little red plate's going to come off, this red plate that goes over top of the control unit. And then the control unit comes off. And once that's off, essentially I can slide the whole, oh, sorry, one more thing has to come off. This piece here which is the, it's not really a handle. And they're really tight, that's good though. So this unit basically just turns off. Ah, someone put some rubber there, smart. So this turns the unit off so the wheel doesn't spin when you pick it up. This has to come off, a couple bolts here that have to come out, but that frees up the suspension from the, basically from this top unit here. So I, I basically pull up the whole battery pack um, off of it, suspension's out of the way, and then I can get to the rails. So we'll take some more pictures as I do this, and uh, so and I'll do some like voiceover with pictures for the rest of it, and maybe a little at the finish. I'll just do a little video at the end. Okay, so this is with the red plastic piece taken off the top, so you can see the controller here still mounted to the EUC. You can see in this shot I've unscrewed the control board, and it's tilted back. You can see the thermal paste on the control board and a little bit on the top of the EUC. There should be equal amounts on both. It's actually a little bit hardened, so I removed it and put new thermal paste on both the uh, top there and the metal beam that goes across. In the next couple shots, you can see the power cable. It's connected to the control board there with that little red plastic cover with the screws in it. And you'll see it a little closer in a second, but basically I had to use some silicone around there because this is really the only point of ingress that water can get in underneath into the control board, at least it seems that way. Most people comment that that's really the only weak point. You can see here in this picture that there are cables on the left and the right that go from the control unit into the left and right part of the EUC. They need to be disconnected in order to get the control unit off the top of the EUC. So you can see in this other picture here, they've been disconnected now. In this picture on the left side, you can see the handle that is also the motor cutoff switch. So when you 
pull it backwards, so to the left of this picture, it acts as a handle and it also cuts the motor off so that it doesn't spin when you pick it up. Now that needed to be removed in order to separate the top half of the EUC from the bottom half. And you can see in this picture now, it has been removed. So I just wanted to show you a little tip that I do. I like to take the parts and so if there's screws involved, I try to kind of screw them together and put them back in, in the same kind of order or structure that they came out. So you can see on the handle there, I put those bolts back in with the washer just so that I don't lose them and it helps me remember how it all goes back together. And you'll also see the screws at the top. They're laid out in the same order or sort of the shape that they came out so I can put them in. Because so, sometimes they'll be different lengths or even different bolts or slightly even and it does make a difference. So here we have the bottom half of the EUC. It's basically the motor, the suspension, the fender and the control unit that is still attached via the power cable. So you can see here you can take the top off without removing the control unit so you don't need to mess around disconnecting that power cable. If it's already siliconed and everything, you can just leave it as is and keep the integrity intact. And this would be the top half. As you can see, it's laid on the table. This is from the side. And the next photo is hopefully a way that you can see the tracks. And those tracks will need to be cleaned out to some degree because there's a lot of grease and stuff in there that you're not gonna need with the rollers. So I just used some cloth and pushed it through the tracks for a while using a screwdriver until it kind of cleaned it up and there was less grease inside. Here we have a shot of the bottom half of the EUC on the table. And this is where I did most of my work, removing the sliders. Now we do have the original sliders on there. You can see there's no rollers. And this is a slightly closer picture here for you to see. And then here we have a picture with the sliders removed from the, I guess it's the frame that connects the EUC to the fender and the suspension. And last but not least, here are the sliders installed on the frame there. And you can see that they're the CNC new brackets with the roller bearings and everything went on really nicely. Using those C-clips made a big difference. I mean, that definitely helped for sure. Installing this didn't have to bang them too hard. And then essentially just put the unit back together in the exact opposite order in which I took it apart. And Bob's your uncle, the upgrade is complete. All right, everybody, uh, this thing is all back together. I didn't have to do too much. Um, the Velcro on the seat, I had to add some of the heat sink stuff because that other stuff was really, wasn't really good. Uh, the stuff that I used on it is supposed to be good, but it was definitely thicker than the original stuff. Like it's supposed to be really, really soft, almost like it never really hardens. That's what it's supposed to be. It was pretty goopy, but um, hopefully it works well as a heat sink uh, insulator type thing. Uh, really everything went together really quick, probably about an hour to an hour and a half total, wasn't really keeping track. I wish I had shown you how good this shock was or how poor it was with this little stuff. So just a little stuff, you really wouldn't get any of that. You have to kind of really crank on it to get it to go. Now it's super responsive. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's ideal at this point, uh, really not too much. I had power tools, so that kind of helped me with the electric drills and stuff. The longest part was probably going back and forth to the garage to uh, essentially get stuff that I forgot to grab, little adapters and things and some rags and some WD-40 just to clean stuff up and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it really was a simple process. Everything worked out perfectly. I didn't have any hiccups at all. Took my time, got it all right. Let's see here. Look at that, just a little bit. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, working good. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to riding this now and just uh, taking it out for a good boot and seeing how it works. All right, thanks for watching another Get Fit Over 40.com video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, take care.